All right, so now that we have our login screen built, we are going to create our registration screen, so this guy right here. And then in the next one after that, we're going to start actually doing the Firebase database stuff and uh, registering and logging in with users. So let's get started. Well, I'm going to close this, this likes activity here. We don't need this open. And the register activity is going to be actually pretty similar to this. It, just instead of this image view widget up here, we'll have, uh, what was it, Red, click here, register new account, uh, text view heading. And we're still going to have that email field. And then we just need to put a full name field in the middle. Uh, we're still going to have that password field. And then we just need a register button instead of this login button. And then the other two, the progress bar is still going to be there, but the login link won't be there. So uh, because it's going to be kind of similar, I'm just going to copy the login activity. So let's scroll down here and click on uh, our activity login. It's going to press Control C on that to copy it. Click on the layout file, paste it. And we're going to rename this to activity register. And so it's going to be similar, but we need to get rid of this image view, first of all. And we'll change this to a text view and do match parent and wrap content and set some text. So register a new account and do text size maybe 30 SP. That looks pretty good. It's pretty big still. We'll do, we'll do 20 SP and then kind of just take it from there. And we'll do text color. We need to make that black and center horizontally. So layout gravity center. Oops, center horizontal is what we want. Center horizontal. And that's still not centering horizontally. There we go. Uh, we'll get rid of the layout gravity. We're just going to use gravity to center that horizontally. And the first input field is still going to be an email. We're going to just leave that. We're not going to touch it at all. And then below the email, though, we're going to put a, a, a text field for their name. So I just copied the email one. And I'm going to change this to input uh, name. Actually, we'll go input username. And then the hint will be full name. And this one's just going to be text. We don't need an email or anything like that. And so we have the ID, change that, change that. So that looks pretty good. That's pretty, pretty simple. And oh, one thing that I actually wanted to do from the previous video was I thought this button was actually too close to the password. So let's go back to activity login really quick. And I just want to change uh, the margin here. So I'm going to do, you have a margin bottom, let's do a margin on the top. So margin top maybe 20 dp uh, let's do 25 dp yeah that looks a little better and now we can close activity login go back to register activity and we have our name we have our email now we need to change the button so we'll change the button text to register and then just like we did in the other button we want to do a margin on the top of 25 dp and we don't need this link anymore and we'll still use the progress bar, except we'll change it to uh, register request loading progress bar. I should have just named it progress bar, really. I was going to say progress bar. That just makes it easier. And I'll go back into login activity and change them also. We can use the same names because they're using different layouts. It doesn't matter. That's fine. And oh, we need to change this. We have button register currently, but we're going to, or so we have button login. We're going to need to change it to uh, button register. And that's actually pretty much it. It's pretty simple to make. No big deal. Uh, yeah, so let's, let's stick it into the likes activity just so it launches when the app runs. We can see what it looks like. So activity, activity register isn't there. I don't know why that happens. Act the register. Interesting. Uh, I'm going to rebuild because for some reason it's not seeing that that activity there. Now I'm getting that red R. That's strange because usually usually you that red R will come up sometimes and then when you rebuild it it will go away and that's interesting because I just rebuilt and then it showed up. Okay there we go. So I rebuilt again and it looks like it's okay. Now I'm going to check if activity register is there and it is there. So now we can we can run this. Whoops. And take a look at our layout file. Okay, click on the likes activity here. And there we go. So I'm actually gonna put a little bit of a larger margin up here. 
that one's not the button looks good now I think that's at a good distance below everything else looks good so let's just get a larger margin between the email text field and the heading register new account so we're going to here and actually I can just put a margin bottom here so margin bottom do 25 DP and I want to do the same thing for activity login also so we're going to have that we have our uh, image view heading here oh this one actually does have a margin bottom of 25 DP I just forgot to put it here alright so let's run that again take a look even though I'm, I'm sure it should be fine now that looks better uh, I actually would probably like a larger margin even still let's uh, let's change it to margin bottom maybe 40 DP and I want to do the same thing for activity login and try it one more time yeah that looks okay all right, so this is a good place to stop. We managed to actually create this whole layout, which was pretty easy. We just basically copied the activity login screen. And now in the next one, we're going to start working with Firebase. So I'll see you guys in the next video.